In this video, we're gonna go over how we can get stock market data to Excel. Let's start by entering some stock ID. So I'll just do Apple here. I can simply just click on this, go to data menu on top here. And under data, we have this data types. And here under data types, we have stocks. So I'm gonna click on that. So as you can see, we got this data selector because for this particular ticker, we can actually get it from different exchanges. And one of them would be NASDAQ. So I'll just go ahead and use this, select. And I'm gonna make this bigger a little bit. And there is this. So now based on this, we can actually get some information about this particular stock. And the way we do that, we start with equal sign, we point to the cell and add a dot. And this will list us different properties we can get from that particular stock. So you can see we have a lot of different properties here. And if I just scroll down here, I should be able to get things like price. I'll double click on that, hit enter. So there you have it, we got the price. Now, if I wanted something else about this, I could click on this, hit a dot. And again, we could get any of these other properties here. You can see we get previous close, volume, you're incorporated, any of these things. So let me grab a couple of things like this. So I'll do previous close. Again, equals, then click on this dot. Then we could get you're incorporated and so on, right? So you can get all the properties you need. Now, if I right click on this particular cell where we actually got this Apple stock, here we have this data type and you can see under the data type, which is stock data type in this case, we have this refresh settings. So I'm gonna click on this refresh settings. So here we have our refresh settings. If I open this, you can see that it's set to automatically refresh every five minutes. Now you can also change this to be manual. So it's only gonna refresh when you manually refresh it or on file open. So that means every time you open this file, it's gonna refresh. Now, if you set it to manual, then you're gonna to have to come back here and click on this refresh button. You can see on the right side to refresh this. Now I'm gonna leave it under every five minutes. That's fine for me, but that's how you can change refresh settings to get all this data about the stock. Now, typically, if you're doing something like this, you're probably doing this for not just one stock, you probably have a list of stocks. And in those cases, it's probably best to use a table to make this whole experience a lot nicer and easier to work with. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna start a new tab. And here what I'll do, I'll just create a column and I'll list a few different things. So first I'm gonna convert this to a table. So I'm gonna select this data, go to insert. Under insert, I'm gonna do table object, table. It has headers. I'm gonna check this box, ticker, hit okay. And there's our table. You can of course go up here, change your style for your table, etc. Now I have videos covering how tables work and what they do, etc. I would encourage you to watch that separately. It's a separate topic. But at this point now that we have this table with this tickers in it, I'm gonna select those and I'm gonna to go to data menu and again, go here and convert them to stocks. Now I'm gonna make this bigger so it fits. Now at this point, I could still do that equals, click on a cell, do the dot, get the particular property that I'm interested in, or you can just click on this little plus sign that appears here. And that just gives you the list of all those different properties. So I can just easily go here, for example, scroll down and find the price. And you can see it's just gonna add it for all of them and it will also add a nice column name for us. And we can just go up here and enter like PE, we can enter 
industry, you can add pretty much anything you want, right? So at this point, anything you can see that's available here, you could just easily add to your table. So let me also add the previous close price. There it is. So there you go. So this way, basically, it's going to be in this table format. You can see it's getting that information for all of these different stocks. And because it's in a table format, I should be able to go down here and add another stock to this list. You can see it automatically picks up on all this data and pulls it over because we're in a table. We simply just enter the ticker that we are interested in and it's going to get us the rest of these. Now, because we're in a table object, you can also go here and add your own calculated columns. So maybe you want to calculate the difference between the previous close and the current price. So I can go here and do equals and then take this previous close minus the price. Again, if you're not familiar with this table syntax format, I encourage you to watch my video about Excel tables. But at this point, if I would enter, you can see we'll get that. And of course, as you keep adding new data, all of this will auto update for you. And there you go. That's getting your stock data to Excel. Now, one last thing I'm going to go over before I finish this video is that we can also, I'll go to this previous sheet. We can also get currency exchange information using the same feature. And basically the way it's going to work, let's say I want to get conversion rate from Euro to USD. So what I'll do, I'll type the two currencies separated by this forward slash, hit enter. And at this point, if I click on this and go to that same data menu, and basically here, instead of stocks, I'm going to go currencies, even though I think it will also work if you just do stocks, I'm going to go currencies. And you can see now that's our currency type. And once again, if we go on this currency to see what's available, we can see things like price. And basically that's our exchange rate at this point. So there we go. That should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.